the Boston Celtics dominated points in the paint in Game 4 of the NBA playoffs against the Brooklyn Nets. The Celtics beat the Nets by just four points, but outscored them in the paint by 12 points, which was the difference in this game. The Celtics scored in the paint in a variety of ways, including post-up opportunities, putbacks for a dunk, and by attacking the paint in transition. The Celtics did a great job the entire game getting into the paint and looking to dish the ball off for easy points. In this example, we're going to see Jason Tatum set the ball screen for Smart. We're going to get a switch here up at the top. Off of this switch, Smart is going to attack and get a small advantage. As the help steps up, he's going to have Robert Williams for an easy dunk. If Kyrie had stepped down to Williams, could have been a kick out to Brown, but I'm not sure Kyrie could have stepped down and defended Robert Williams on this lob. The Celtics would continue to attack the paint and find the open player as the Nets helped. Here we're going to see Tatum look to attack and find White, who's going to lay it off to Smart for an easy two points. As we bring this back, we're going to see White get into the paint. He has options for Williams on the outside, but as he drives deeper, Smart does a nice job sailing his man and giving White an opportunity to wrap the ball around to get Smart for the layup. The Celtics wouldn't only attack the paint and transition in the half court as we see Grant Williams do a great job getting open for an easy two points in a baseline out of bounds situation. The Celtics made a conscious effort all night to get into the paint. We're going to see Jason Tatum do a nice job selling the fadeaway, getting Brown to step up, and then pivoting into the paint to score, similar to Michael Jordan. This is one of many ways the Celtics took advantage of matchups to get easy baskets in the paint. Points in the paint were never more critical than late in the fourth quarter when we see Smart attack the basket and get two points. As we break down this play, you're going to see a ball screen come from Horford and Smart cross over to attack the basket. As he gets into the paint and the defender over pursues, he's going to jump stop, pivot, and then score for two points. And the last basket the Celtics scored in the paint would come with over a minute to go. Jalen Brown's going to get the pass and look to attack the basket. As Kevin Durant switches out on the drive, Brown's going to hesitate, almost lose control of the basketball here, and then recover to attack and get two points. The Celtics were taking what the Nets gave them, and their 44 points in the paint were a difference maker in this series. We'll look for the Celtics to continue to attack the paint as they advance in the NBA playoffs. If you like this video, then make sure you hit that like button down below. Subscribe to get better basketball on YouTube. Turn on your notifications and drop me a comment down below to let me know what you think.